Hello, how you guys doing today? Hope everyone's having a great. What the fuck is today? Thursday. Hope everyone's having a great Thursday. All right. Today we have something very, very special. Uh, I'm 100% the first person to ever do this. Nobody's ever done this before. Never before seen. Disputed Origin exclusive. Uh, all of the items are red today, so it's gonna be a pretty easy one, I think. I think. <laughs> We'll see. I do have a couple rules. I mean, just like kind of a basic one I want to follow today. If I see an Aegis, I pick it up. If I see an Aegis, I will pick it up. No matter what. Well, I guess like if it's a printer, I won't go all in. Go all in but I want to be stacking like 10 Aegis by the end of this. So hopefully we can do that. Uh, I've got a randomizer here. I'm sick of chat getting in horrible, horrible cockfights because they want me to pick a specific survivor and I don't pick the right one. Sick of that, so I'm just gonna see where the cards fall. Okay, well, Akron. Nice. What's this mod called? It is called Tier Selector. My audio, my audio is working. I don't know why it's so quiet. All right, hold on. Do that, and then I'll turn the music down just a little bit. I am a professional, and that's what we do. How's everyone doing tonight? This is one I've been wanting to do for a while. Ooh, Frost Relic. Okay. Pretty good for Acrid here. Is this Persona 4 boss music? I believe so. Mm. You always pick the good, good music? Uh, I don't know. I feel like I need to update my playlist, to be honest. I feel like it's getting kind of old. It's just like... I don't know. The... Venn diagram of songs I actually want to listen to and songs that are copyright free. It's kind of small right now. I need to like listen to more copyright free music, I guess. Like when I'm in my car, I don't. <laughs> but I probably should. I'll, I'll listen to whatever. But like video game music is pretty good for that. Video game music very rarely gets copyrighted unless it's Nintendo. Nintendo loves copywriting people. But usually, like, if it's background music, it's fine. Can you count down for me? I'm almost finished. I got you. I got you, bro. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. <laughs> That's all you're getting. That's all you're getting. All right. Uh, does Bottle Chaos even do anything? I don't think I can get equipments. Yo, Gunshot, thank you for the five gifted. Holy shit. What the hell, dude? That's crazy. You got a, a gift from Gunshot here. Make sure to thank him in chat. Oh, we got an Aegis. Mine. Yeah. That's the good shit. You always pick up Aegis. It'll be worth it, I promise. Oh. I think this will also give me a red. I think it's literally everything is going to be red here. Yo, thank you for the $1. Uh, I don't... I think... Is that Canadian? Thank you for the $1 Canadian. Uh, Fuchs. Also, I saw you subbed earlier. Thank you so much for that, too. Before the stream. All right, let's see. Oh. All right, well, <laughs> we're doing pretty well here. <laughs> Got some great items. I actually would be better off with white items right now. <laughs> That's sad. I have three reds. Do you live in Utah? I most certainly do. Land of the free. Home of the free, you know? Fuck yeah, can I get some grandma pogs for Utah in the chat? It's great, dude. It's like probably like top 40 states, I would say. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I have an Aegis though. Okay, I hope there's a scrapper because I really don't want to lose it. I mean, like, <laughs> even if I had Clover, it would not do shit. It's the sad thing right now. The longer I play, the longer I start to feel like Clover maybe not be worth it. Is Louisiana in the top 50 states? Uh, Luis is fine. I don't really like Anna, though. But 
But me and Luis go way back. We went to Burning Man together, actually. Shout out to Luis. Fuck you, Anna. Hmm. Ugh. Okay. Oh, th that's huge value. Uh, it's an item that will actually do something. Nice. All right. Well, I don't know. I might just go in on printers. At least I could get some crit if I went in on the clovers here. What about South Carolina? Dude, like, that's the second best Carolina. Easily. I would say so. At least. I don't know. People may disagree with that. Ugh. Ugh. Ooh, uh, I didn't want to pick it up. Shit. Okay, now I'm starting to get some good shit here. I kind of want to scrap my Baos. I get a Frelic and a Clover here. I mean, it doesn't really matter that much. Do I really have to min-max? <laughs> Do I really have to? Ooh. Now I really want the Clover. Now I really want it. Okay. It's what it is. <laughs> it's going to be a, a pretty easy day today, I think. Holy shit, Rat Rat Guy has a little rat emoji next to his name. That's the dopest shit I've ever seen. Mississippi, that's not even a state, it's a river. Get fact check. If I give you one Canadian, would you do Voidfield Stage 3? I cannot be bought, sir. I am no harlot. What do you think this is? What do you think this is? What, what are your thoughts on Loader as a person? Uh, I think they're alright. I wholeheartedly refute the allegations. I don't think Loader would do something like that, and I'm just going to leave it there. How do I get Green Siphon Forest? This is a mod called Cooler Stages by Nuxlar. It's pretty cool. Nice, okay. Oh, wait. I guess we can still get yellows? I thought it was reds only, but <laughs> we're danning it, I guess. Thoughts on Symbiotic Scorpion? Uh, probably feels pretty good to put in your ass, I would say. Yeah. A very breedable item. Oh, you meant like gameplay? Yeah, it's a good item. It's a good item. For sure. <laughs> First stream, how you doing, Red? What up? Ugh. What's going on with chat today? Holy shit. I say today. It's always like this. I do nothing about it. <laughs> item breedability tier list. That's a good idea. That should be my next top 10. You're right. Pull like a, a Guptil. Guptil 89. Those breedable Sonic characters. It's a great video. <laughs> Risk of Rain 2, otherwise known as Hot Chick Heaven. What about equipment? I don't think I can get equipment here. Unless it, maybe it's an aspect or something. Because I opened a barrel and I didn't get any. I don't know. I might get rid of this gloop just for the sanctity. Just for the sanctity of the challenge, you know? If you have Blight or Poison, this is a... Uh, it's a pretty cursed run, but it is Poison. Unfortunately. I hate to say. I hate to inform you. I'm already in, like, AFK territory here. <laughs> After eight minutes. Oh, we got an Aegis in here? We got an Aegis? Ah, shit. Ooh. Yo, Raymond Daniels, thank you for the 14-month membership. Is this challenge to play with one tier? Yeah, you could even call it the one-tier challenge. That is true. <laughs> I guess that's the official name of the, the challenge. I don't know. 
I don't know if that like really rolls off the tongue though. The Raymond Daniels one tier challenge. Symbiotic Scorpion tier list. Oh yeah, dude. Symbiotic Scorpion is like top three Symbiotic Scorpions, I would say. Uh, thank you for the five dollars. Ooks, thank you for the one dollar Canadian. I'm not doing void fields. I cannot be bought. Posifi, I'm not Origin, but I had a time where I wanted to cry. What? <laughs> why, why do you say these things? <laughs> why do I choose to read them? Hello? I'm just as bad. I'm the adult in this situation. In theory. Do you like rabbits? Yeah, they're all right. The bread. Rabbits are all right, I would say. Not the best animal, not the worst. All right, well. Okay. How about two? Ooh. About two, I don't know. Yeah. Maybe I should make OnlyFans. I know. Would you guys subscribe to my Only? One in the chat if you'd subscribe to my OnlyFans. Two if you would report my account for indecency. Inde indecency. <laughs> indecency. Oh, nice. Got a Dio. I don't think the chest colors really matter here. Oh, that's a lot of ones. <laughs> that's like exclusively ones. Oh no. Oh no. Oh shit. I'm pulling Markiplier. I don't think you guys would be ready for my OnlyFans. Wait. Okay, I guess teleporter items are still like green and yellow. That might be a config or something. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of these whenever there's a scrapper. Cause that's fucking weird. Ooh, behemoth. Nice. Um, oh, I forgot to get the Aegis back there. Oops. I've been wa waiting for so long for Grandpa's OnlyFans. I know, dude. It's been so long. You know, did Markiplier ever actually do the OnlyFans thing? I think so. I believe so. I'm like one of his top donators. Reporting you to the authorities. What the fuck? Why? Just because I like to go in my neighbor's backyard. And stare at them through the window in the middle of the night. And I rub my nipple. There's nothing illegal about that. Markiplier did it for charity. I mean, true. That, dude, that guy... Must have so much fucking money. Like, the, the cost to produce his content and the amount of watch time he gets, holy fuck. I, I, I doubt he needs more, so. <laughs> Good on him. Uh, oh shit. Okay, there wasn't an Aegis. I already got a Behemoth, so I guess I'll just grab a headset. I'm good. I hope the Iron Lung will be good. Dude, I watched this video about this dude who had polio, like, before they cured it, and he got put in an Iron Lung, but he was in an Iron Lung, like, his entire life, like, 50 years, and he's just, like, a head in sticking out of a jar, basically, and this dude was, like, writing with his mouth. He became a lawyer. I don't even know how you practice law as an Iron Lung. That's crazy. <laughs> like, I mean, dude, imagine that. Imagine that, like, you're, you're, you think your life's about to be over. You committed some crime. You get your public defender. They come in and they're just in a fucking iron lung. Oh my god. Would you, A, be like, I'm fucked? Or B, would you be like, oh my god. Thank fucking god. This guy's hardcore. I don't have to imagine. Nice, dude.
he isn't an iron lung, he's in an iron lung. Well, most of him, I don't know, like 80% of him is in the iron lung. At what point is he an iron lung? Is my question. Like, you know how they say you are what you eat? Like, couldn't that also, couldn't that also apply to iron lungs? Anyway, shout out to that guy, if you're watching. I'm sure he is. Um, I would like some uh, legal representation. Alright. Um, nice illegal gloop gameplay. Hell yeah. Oh wait, I gotta heal up. Yeah. Is IDP the only way I can heal here? I guess I can get like Rejubrax. I don't know. What else is there? Aegis? Oh yeah, of course, Aegis. Thank God Polio is gone. Yeah, that's a shame. A damn shame. That's such a cool name, too. Fucking like polio. Sorry, I can't come to work today. I've got polio. I can't say that anymore. Oh, I got another Aegis. Nice. Got two Aegises? Okay. We're gaming. I just tripled my Aegis count. That's nuts. Oh, drone parts. We're good. Yeah, I did use a gloop in the Reds Only Challenge. But you know what? Dan also used, like, five goat hooves in every uh, only using this item video. So. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Uh, can I just, like, console it out? I was hoping I'd find a scrapper here soon. I might just console it out after this one. Or just not pick him up, I guess. I can do that. Hmm. Okay. I think I'm uh, pretty good on Scorpion's game. Thank you, though. We're probably going to do a lot of runs today, I imagine. We're going to do a lot of runs. Oh, shit. I don't know why I'm worried. I can just, like, sit and play. Like, I'm fine. Oh, you could be so cool, though. <laughs> I'm not going to pick it up. Rank my scorpions. Left scorpion and right scorpion. Uh, left scorpion is, like, top two, at least. I don't know, man. Uh, what am I even talking about? <laughs> this is not this challenge, and I used six goat hooks. Yeah, okay. Okay, buddy. <laughs> Am I ruining the sanctity of the Raymond Daniels one tier challenge? Do you like Risk of Rain one or two more? Full well, two. By a lot. But I don't think it's really a fair comparison. They're very different games. I think two has so much depth. And if Returns ever added Eclipse or something, I would play the shit out of that and I'd stream it forever. Maybe not forever, but I'd stream a lot more of it. But right now, it's just Monsoon, and I'm like, eh. Okay. I kind of get it. I'd love it if they added some kind of challenge mode. There's a Clover Printer on stage one. Yeah, it don't matter too much, though. I'm sure I'll find one here. And if I don't, I guess I don't. Oh, I don't take fall damage. Easy. Um, I guess I'll get a new Gaana, because I don't think the other two really helped me. All right, let's get rid of this. Uh, Genesis loop, negative one. I'm going to miss this quail, though. All right. There we go. Because Dan literally screamed at me, so I have to oblige. 
And if we get more melee characters and Seekers of the Storm, I just hope they're balanced. Because the ones we got in Survivors of the Void are really good, and I like that, but I don't want it to, like, be super power creepy. Where they're trying to one-up themselves, and that's probably what it's going to be. I'm running out of my website revenue to spend. Thank you for the $2 Canadian. You, you do not have to donate. I do appreciate it, though. Thank you for all, all the kind donations. But watching me is enough. That's what I always say. Do not feel compelled to donate. Time for a commando, but with no movement ability. Oh, that's the dream. That's the dream. One is way more luck dependent than two. I would say so, yeah. I don't think two is really that luck dependent. If you're full looting, you can win every run. I think we have to solve pretty well at this point. Okay. Oh, yes, we got an Aegis Printer. Okay. That's pretty crazy. That's pretty dope. Alright, I gotta heal up here. Do I even bother opening the legendary chest? <laughs> I feel like it's kind of a waste. Oh, Aegis is actually going off. Oh my god. That's crazy. This is the most value I've, I've ever seen from Aegis. Thank you for the $10 Tracer White. You will miss that quail like I miss my daughter. From the insulin money you beg me for, old man. Remember thy name. Oh, shut up. Your daughter's gonna be fine. Just give her more insulin next month. Make up for it, you know? That's not like she needs it. Don't spoil her. I mean, if I gave in every time my kid asked for insulin, he'd be spoiled as fuck. He can't be doing that. Yo, Chimp, they were the $20. I think drones should be buffed a bit in returns or in this game. I don't know. I think, like, some of them should. Like, the TC280, definitely. But I, I think drones are really underrated. Like, healing drones are kind of the bomb. And, like, gunner drones, like, just distracting enemies. They don't do a lot of damage, sure. One thing I wish they would do, though, is add in, like, the drone mode from Returns, where when you die, you spawn as a drone. I was kind of doing that when we were playing with Race. Uh, thank you for the three Canadian. So how about Voidfields for three Danor? Dar Daror. Oh, I see. You're being offensive. I see how it is. Yeah, probably not. Thank you for the, thank you for the money, though. Man, Voidfields are kind of boring now. I don't like them. I would go. I'd, like, pop in and pop out if they didn't patch it with the Meteors update. Like, what the fuck? Why? I hate it. <laughs> I hate that you can't get scavs on Sky now. I thought that was such a cool little tech. It's such a cool little thing you can do. Holy shit, you guys are going crazy with the donos. Dude, come on. <laughs> come on. Let's, uh, let's be adults here. Shut the hell up and enjoy the damn stream. Some people, man. I won't do builds because I like running captain. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> I, I find it so ridiculous that Captain, to this day, cannot use his abilities in Hidden Realms. Why? It's so dumb. But you can use a Caffeinator anywhere? Like, why? That, could that make sense? And using Captain's ability doesn't? Waffles or pancakes? Oh, waffles, 100%. I think pancakes are good, but... A little bit overrated. Yeah, you get a pancake, right? You cover it in syrup. It gets all soggy. Uh, waffles don't do that shit. Waffles stay crisp. 
waffles are fucking epic. But I feel like, I don't know, pancakes are more popular, but I think everyone knows waffles are better. You know what I mean? That's my impression. I <laughs> think your trades are white for the $10. Oh my god, you guys are going nuts. I hope this money goes to someone's daughter who needs insulin more than mine, I guess. She needs to lay off the damn sugar any anyway. Double it and give it to the next person. Oh yeah, I'll probably just use it to buy heroin, to be honest. Thanks for the money, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate it. French toast is the best. French toast is pretty good. Uh, actually, I prefer freedom toast. Holy shit, gunshot. You're the five gifted membership. You guys are... What the fuck? <laughs> guys, calm down. It's okay. Oh my god. I think that's like new emote slots. That's one more emote slot, I think. So I'll have to upload a new one after the stream. Pretty nice. If you did just get gifted an emote, you have some exclusive emotes now that are, I say gifted an emote, gifted a sub. You have emotes now. Here's some cash for some sweet Colombian. I read that as Columbine, and I was like, <laughs> is, it, am I, is it okay to read this? Dude, I'm so fucking dyslexic. <laughs> I read Colombian as Columbine. What the fuck is wrong with me? Good school. Do you like the Wooly? Yeah, Wooly's pretty cool. I like Wooly. Kind of want to do some more stuff with him. I want to do some stuff with R&D, too. Like, he, I did see him streaming a few days ago. I thought he was gone because it was, like, the first time in a month. And R&D is notorious for just leaving for years and years and years and then coming back randomly. So I want to do some shit with him before he's gone. Maybe on like a, a Friday. I, I've been doing co-op Fridays and I think this week it's not going to be, but I'm playing on, uh, I'm playing with Dan on Saturday, I think. And that's also because I don't think I streamed the other day and I was supposed to and I kind of, kind of want to make up for it, but we are going to do a Saturday stream this week. I think with Dan. So, that'll be fun. But yeah, I want to see if I can get R&D to play. I think uh, I'd get along pretty well with him. We have very similar senses of humor, I think. Ugh. <laughs> Do some OnlyFans content with R&D Thursday. Oh yeah, that'd be awesome. <laughs> Dude, that would break the internet. That would actually break the internet. I hate it when people fucking say that. That's one of my least favorite things people say. Justin Bieber broke the internet. It was broken. People could not use it. Can you believe it? I tried to plug it back in, but it did not work. It was broken. He broke the internet. Right, so right there, you have the $5. Uh, how much did you make from Donos on the day you played with Race with Umbral Mythrix? Oh. Dude. Like. Mm, I don't I don't even know. I don't even know. Like $300, I think. Three or 400 that was, pretty, that was pretty nuts. Are you cheating with that Chrono Bobble? Oh, I didn't even realize I picked it up. I'm just autopilot. I guess I am. Hold on. Yeah. Sorry, guys. That, that really was carrying the run here. Really carrying the run. Glad I got rid of it. Come on. Come on, please. Ugh. I love the ICBM that I can't use. 
Mm, got a Dio. Nice. Uh, can I buy drones here? Probably be worth it to buy some drones. Uh, more scorpions? What the hell? I don't need that. It's good to see How's your day? My day's going pretty well. New month, new day. New acrid. Damn, dude. Pretty damn good. Can't believe it's already fucking February. That's crazy. Brono cobble. What? The hell are you talking about? What are you talking about, boy? Leave the five dollars. Guys, it, dude, <laughs> stop, please. I feel bad. Like with memberships, I feel better about it because at least you're getting something. But with just like straight up donos, I feel bad because it's not a transaction. You're just giving me money for literally no reason. It is greatly appreciated. Uh, I don't want to be like a, a sourpuss about it. I just feel guilty. And I still have like people that sub to me on Twitch. Not a lot, like like three or four people. Race is one of them, for God knows why. Because he's cringe. But I still have like, I make like 10 bucks a month from that. And I beg people to cancel, and they fucking won't. It's so fucking hard, dude. Is he stupid? <laughs> yes. You you might be new around here. Yes. Absolutely. I love that chat. <laughs> it's so, like, brutal and straight to the point. Is this guy... Wait, is he... Am I seeing this? Is he stupid? What the hell? What am I watching? Turn this shit off. Is he stupid? Thank you guys so much. Greatly appreciated. I'm actually, like, gonna die. I've taken a bunch of damage just from opening Void Cradles, so I need to be kind of careful here. Actually, <laughs> I didn't realize I was in danger until I looked at my health, and I have 100 curse stacks. Should farm blue donuts. I mean, I think the easiest way to farm it is, is just by killing Mithrix. You get 10 every time you beat the game. It's pretty nice. They also get, like, rarer each one you get, so... Just, like, doing a lot of runs, playing the game. All of these Lunar Coins are legit, by the way. So I just never use them. Unlike some people, fucking cap, with negative Lunar Coins. Oh, I picked up the squib. Oh, fuck. Oh, God damn it. Oh, shit. At least I can, I can clickbait it and say squid game in Risk of Rain 2. Dude, that's a great idea. I liked Goon when it was just a fella up to no good. Dude, that's profound. That's some, like, hardcore slam poetry. I hope to see you at the slam sesh later. I think it'd be fun to get into, like, some random shit like that. I start doing slam poetry. I start uploading that to my main channel. <laughs> Have you played Brotato? Is that Brotato? <laughs> the E throws me off. It's either Brotato or Brotato. <laughs> I'm not sure. I, I'm assuming you mean Brotato, and I have not played that. Nor have I played Brotato. Now that you bring it up. Get 
Yo, thank you for the enthusiasm. Hell yeah. A little NG. Trouble fell asleep at the wheel. Not enough gas. Gonna keep it real. That is... Oh, that's so fucking profound. I might just end stream and contemplate my life for, like, the next two weeks. Alright, what am I getting here? I guess I'll get a Reju crack. Gotta play Brotato, it's peak. Uh, I've heard good things about it. Oh, uh, do the Lunar Pods give me... Ooh, they do. They give me sexy. They give me very sexy. Nice. Okay. Um, was there a Clover Printer? Do I remember seeing a Clover Printer? I think there was. I might just go into it, honestly. I don't really want to lose Tesla. Uh... Oh, there's the scrapper. Nice. Nice. Let's get some clovers. Okay, first of all, bottle chaos. Useless for me. Not doing shit. Um. Can't get equipment, so that's not very good. And I'm going to Mithrix here, so probably that's not good. That's not good. Get rid of that. Um. Get rid of that. Just because of Mithrix. Yeah. What's with this? We'll get some clovers here. Oh yeah, ICBM, you're right. You're very right. ICBM isn't gonna do anything for me. Yes, 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 I see. I see, says the blind man. ICBM is OP on drone man. I don't think it works on drone man, sir. Not to not to question the great Twitch chat, <laughs> YouTube chat conglomerate. I still call it Twitch chat. <laughs> I don't know why. I've been on YouTube for like a year and a half. I'm thinking about certain multi streaming. I might try my hand at that again. I used to multi stream, and I had like a dominant viewership on Twitch, like my YouTube streams. Nobody would watch him, and I think it would be the opposite now. I'd be curious, though. What if he streamed on Mixer? Dude, that'd be pretty cool. I think I'd have to invent time travel first, though. Which is probably the easier thing. I don't, it, like, streaming on Mixer has two parts. There's time travel, and then there's streaming on Mixer. And I think the time travel component is actually the easier part of that. What if Ninja got a low taper fade? You know, can somebody ban that guy? What the fuck? Dude, I'm not tolerating that shit. Absolutely not. What's your grinder username? Sexy Grandpa? In this biznatch? Look me up. Look me up on LinkedIn. Same username. Is this? I think I'm too far back. Yeah. Alright, here we go. This should work. Nice. Nice little host skip up here. Oh, I should check out. Um, uh, whatever. Whatever. What the fuck was that? It's the host skip. Look up cap, uh, like pillar skip. It's new. That's not even the craziest one. There's one where you can just do it with safer spaces and like a little bit of speed. Actually, in monsoon, you don't need to be in safer spaces. And you just do it because you don't die to fall damage. What kind of knowledge comes with age? Exactly. The type of wisdom you get from only the more the most mature of YouTubers, let's say. Did you get up on mail? No, I beat it. I want to try it with Eclipse. I think. <laughs> what the fuck? This guy posted like baby emojis in the chat and then quickly deleted them. <laughs> Message retracted. What is your TI for this game? Tip for this game. Uh, I have a lot. 
but I don't know. I would say my Eclipse Guide is probably what you're looking for. If you're looking for like a more advanced like tips and tricks, that's probably like the best video I've ever made just in terms of like if you want to learn how to play the game. It's a video that took me like four months to make and it was kind of spawned out of people asking me that question a lot. Like any... Oh, dude. I don't have like a lot of defense items here. It's kind of hard. I guess I do have Dio, so I'm fine. Just looking for tricks and tricks. No tips. Thanks. <laughs> well, if you're looking for tricks and tricks, uh, might I recommend Lemon Party? Lemon Party kind of goes off. Are there any reds you think should be green? I think Aegis should be white. Or, like, in the trash. <laughs> I mean, Aegis is pretty bad, I think. I mean, I think Alien Head. Alien Head was originally a green. I think it kind of works as a green. Um, I don't know, beyond that. Like, a lot of red items just don't work on Mythrix. Is the thing. Nukahana, probably. Yeah, Nukahana. I would definitely say Nukahana could be a green or even a white item. Like, and I, I am aware that on Inji you can use it with Bungus, but even then it's like still kind of mid. I don't know. You gotta kill Mythrix or what? Get on with it, old man. I don't wanna watch this shit anymore. Get this guy off my, my television screen. Oh, shit. Almost through there. I like to imagine people watch me on their television in the big screen with their family. I know the Obamas do that. It's a Thanksgiving tradition in the Obama household to watch Disputed Origin. I got my Aegis back. Holy shit. Oh. Oh, I actually died. I didn't get my Dio back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Tesla, I forgot. <laughs> well, do not forget about Tesla coil. A little late on that. <laughs> oh, well, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> oh, God. Dude, pay more attention. <laughs> Please. All right. One, two, three, four, five. All right, we're going to go with multi. That's a pretty impressive dying with what four Dios. I guess I didn't have them at the time, but hey, <laughs> it is what it is. All right. I'd literally be crying and screaming right now. There's no need to cry and scream. Like, oh, come on, come on now. Maybe piss and come a little. Hostile Worlds is made by a different team, right? I believe so. And they actually, they put out a dev thoughts for Hostile Word Worlds like yesterday. I don't know if anyone saw that. You guys see the Hostile Worlds dev thoughts? It was pretty crazy. They did confirm that the game is canon. In the Risk of Rain 2 universe, so. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> I don't know. I might do a hostile world stream. One in the chat if I should do a, a hostile world stream. Let me sign up for, like, the beta. Two in the chat if I should absolutely not anything but that. Oh, that's a lot of ones. <laughs> Zero. It's kind of how I feel, to be honest. I mean, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna give it an honest review. Like, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna pander. Hey, who knows? Maybe I'll really, really like it. Maybe it's gonna be 
the greatest game on earth. Imagine that like gets really popular, like way more popular than Risk of Rain, like Risk of Rain 2 or Risk of Rain Returns. And then whenever people Google Risk of Rain, that's the shit that comes up. Can you imagine? <laughs> It might happen, though. I can see it, like, games like that sometimes just get really popular in obs obscure countries. Like, it'll become a fad somewhere, and people will just play it. And you're not going to be cool at school unless you signed up and got Mercenary and Risk of Rain the Hostile Worlds. You fucking bullied. You fucking bullied. By that asshole Kyle. Fuck Kyle. Man. I don't care how much sap he has. He's still an asshole. <laughs> sap is the in-game currency in Risk of Rain Hostile World. It's one of them. There's like 50 different currencies. They have a bunch. Alright. Um. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Where are the items? Okay, there's a few back here. Professor Sap. Yeah. I can't believe it's canon. That's so... Kind of tragic in a way. <laughs> Hopefully they don't, like, do anything too crazy. It takes place between Risk of Rain 1 and Risk of Rain 2. And the, they give a timeline for it. Okay, Clover. Can't really do anything with it yet, though. I guess I have Happy Mask, so... Pretty good with that. I get confused. I hear him spitting. Spitting facts, and I think he's about to kill me. Did they add more variants to stage aesthetic? This is actually a different mod. It's called uh, Cooler Stages. Made by Nuxler. There's also Cooler Eclipse, made by the same person. And that's a really fun one, too. I like both of them. There are some stage aesthetic variants I like more, though. Like the, um... Like the Day Siphon Forest. Oh, so good in stage aesthetic. Unfortunately, they're not compatible with each other. I mean, I'm not gonna do the Mountain Shrine, because there's no reason to. Literally no reason to. It's not even gonna give me reds. Oh, okay. Nice. Nice. Let's heal up. Pretty good. Reminds me of the Kingdom Hearts mobile gacha game with insane lore that was canon to the game. And if you didn't play it, then like half of Kingdom Hearts story didn't make sense. Oh, that's great. I mean, I don't know. Gearbox is very clearly taking a different route with the story. Like, Risk of Rain 2, like, to this day, I still don't really know what the fuck the story is. I have 5,000 hours in this game. I don't know shit about it. But that's, like, kind of Hoku's approach to it. It's cryptic. The story is told not in gameplay, but in logs and subtext. And you have to, like, figure shit out. Where it seems like Gearbox is just coming out with a story. Like, I know more about Seekers of the Storms DLC story than I do Survivors of the Void. I know it involves a very sad boy um, who's, like, a combination of Providence and Mithrix and being sad, I guess. Um, okay, I guess I'll get that. I don't know. Kind of wishing I got Frelic, but it's fine. I'd argue the lore isn't cryptic. I don't know. I feel like it, it's told through logbooks. There's not like a fucking cutscene that you have to watch. And you don't need the story to play the game. That's what I like about it. Like, it works without the story. But it's there if you want it. I think it's cool. But 
but they never tell you like you are the survivors and you are here to uh, escape the planet and uh, fight this man who's been trapped on the moon by his brother like none of that shit's explained to you you can infer some of it crash on alien planet kill big boss and go home exactly that's the game and which I think is great for like casual play too it's perfect for casuals you don't have to like have a long drawn out thing happening you can just get into the gameplay I mean nothing is really explained in this game to be honest you, you, you see your objective charge teleporter and that's it basically It's the only thing they ever tell you. And to be fair, that is like 90% of the game is charging teleporters. Wherever you go, you gotta charge some kind of some kind of teleporter. Oh, fuck. Got a chrono. Oh, no. Oh, that, there we go. And his music was electric. Oh, yeah. The ukulele uh, description. Very nice. Luck is on your side. That's a that's a great one too. I mean, to be fair though, how are you gonna Clover? Like to understand that item, you kind of need to watch a video. That's not gonna make sense. I mean, I guess it's not that it's not that hard to understand. It's like um, inspiration in D and D. I'm married to the damn teleporters. I just hope Gearbox doesn't fall back on that as much. Really. Alright. Bop. I can't believe I died on the all reds run. <laughs> it's so embarrassing. I There's like... There's literally the one way to die. <laughs> and I did it. Took the one opportunity to die, and I fucking did it. Snatch defeat from the jaws of victory. Pretty fucking great. I don't know. I, I kind of think it would be cool if it was a little bit more cryptic, though. Like, I know I said, like, it, it is cryptic, but, like, I always think about, like, Call of Duty zombies and the way they did it. The way they did it was really cool, actually, where it was like a bunch of like ciphers and codes. And to this day, a lot of ciphers have not been solved. Like, that shit's so cool. It, like, gives a puzzle. I mean, very few people will actually go out and solve it. It's like four people are working on it at a time, I'm sure. But, man, I think ciphers are just such a cool concept for telling a story. It gives people the, something to talk about in the downtime, like creating a lot of mystery in the game. I love that shit. I don't know why. I've never really been like compelled to learn about the story. I'm sure I will at some point. I've learned about some things. Actually, I don't even know if I will. It's been 5,000 hours. If not now, then when? <laughs> But I don't know. I'm I'm mainly a gameplay guy with this game. Learning the story just does not really appeal to me. But I know it does to some people. Like some people really fucking love the story. I like to speculate on things. Like, uh, I don't know. As far as I'm aware, the survivors aren't really, like, written. Like, they're just kind of there. And they, they have, like, backstories, but they don't have, like, characters, if that makes sense. Like, Providence and Mithrix do. They are characters, and they have, like, distinct personalities and traits. But, like, Multi, like, what the fuck? What does he do? Is he funny? Is he smart? 
I don't fucking know. Does he fuck? And Mulfi a fucking Giga Chad? Just fucking slays? Who knows? He's a robot. <laughs> That's his character. You can make a robot interesting. He's multi, dude. You don't know multi? You know my boy multi? We're into burning ham together. Burning. Wait, is that burning ham? Birmingham. Is it? It's burning. Birmingham. Sounds like burnt. Wait. Now I'm confused. <laughs> Wait, what's the name of that fucking place? Burning Man? Wait, Wait is it. Are Burning Man and Burning Ham and Burning Han. Ham. I'm having a fucking stroke. <laughs> what the fuck? They're both places. Dude, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm like checking my face. Is it drooping? Check for other signs of a stroke. Dial 911. You can't dial 911. You have to make sure you're having a, a stroke first. You need to go through the, the five-step guide before you are allowed to call the police. That's what they taught me in school, at least. Like, how to know if someone's having a stroke, and then there's like this long big long checklist of things <laughs> i always thought that was so funny because if my grandma was having a stroke i'm like oh my god grandma and then i like pull out my checklist and it's like okay her face is droopy then is she responding to my things no check that off does she look like she's having a stroke yes and then you ask like 50 other questions okay i think i should probably call 911. do i come back to strokes oh yeah uh, it's something we do every Thursday night here. By popular demand, we have the infamous stroke discussion. We talk about strokes quite a bit here on uh, YouTube. Dot you the disputed origin. Is she on the floor? Check. Yeah. Hacker just wants to be left alone. That's pretty badass, actually. Being an introvert is a superpower. Haven't you guys heard? It's a superpower. Not wanting to talk to people. And being fucking weird at parties. Dude, that's, that's a fucking superpower right there. I, I can appreciate some good, like, corporate cringe like that. Uh, you ever see like the uh, the ones where it's like the importance of thinking square, or they'll turn like some ailment you have into a superpower? Why having ADHD is actually really freaking hogalicious and awesome. Maybe you should ask your doctor for ADHD. Get bit, get prescribed some ADHD. Because ADHD is a superpower. <laughs> Dude, I swear to God, everyone has ADHD now. So, myself included. I was diagnosed for ADHD when I was fucking eight. Hard to believe, I know. Very. Oh, fuck, I got the red whip. Shit. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> uh, well, it, well, okay, I can keep the red. Technically, it's red. No, it's red. It's, a, it's called the red whip, so it's fine. It's a red item. Dude. I don't find it. Yeah. Yeah. What was I talking about? Oh, AD. <laughs> I was talking about ADHD. Uh, very fitting. I feel like everyone has that shit now. From the internet. I think the internet has given a generation of kids ADHD. And like, I don't know. I have had ADHD and I've been medicated for it. But then like, I'll talk to my friends. And they're they are worse than I am. They can't even they can't even hold a conversation. It's so weird, so weird. But yeah, I I think there's definitely like an increase in that. 
Back in your day, ADHD wasn't a thing. No, they just beat you. Do you think your grandparents might have been on the autism spectrum? No. No. I don't think autism existed in their generation. Like, so many people are autistic now. There's like one in every family. You know? Everyone's got like an autistic brother. Or has autism, you know? One of the two. I don't know. I got into an argument with my sister about that because she's like, they're just diagnosing it more. I'm like, I don't know. I feel like more people are actually autistic. And it's them damn vaccines that are causing it. And she's a she's a doctor, so she didn't appreciate that too much. <laughs> no, that's probably not the vaccines, but uh, it, I, I think it might be the plastic, though. I think that's a definite possibility. Like, uh, they did tests, and I, I sound like an idiot here because I can't, like, cite the specific thing. But 84 out of 85, like, grocery store foods have, like, microplastics in them, essentially. I mean, everything has microplastics, but it's, like, I think it's called, like, thalamides. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. But, uh, it's, like, linked to all kinds of health problems and shit. I got here and autism is the first thing I hear. Well, autism is a superpower. It actually is, though. Sometimes. There's, like, some autism that is a superpower, but then there's also, like, the Chris Chan autism that is not a superpower. You, you want to get the right off autism. Autism type A. <laughs> I think, my uh, I think my sister would have an aneurysm if <laughs> she watched my stream. Like, you're putting out so much fucking misinformation. I'm like, well, I'm sorry. Vaccines are killing people. And you need to tell them. Okay, no. <laughs> YouTube's gonna get mad at me if I say that. Vaccines are not killing people. Probably. I don't fucking know, dude. They'll, uh, they'll put, like, a little Wikipedia article under my stream. It's like, fucking get your vaccines. Get them. I like how YouTube does that now. You'll be, like, watching a video about flat earthers, and they'll have a Wikipedia article under the stream that <laughs> it says, the earth is not flat. Please believe us. Do not think the earth is flat. It's like, dude, why do you care? <laughs> why, does, why does Google care so much if people think the earth is Let them. Let them. Why do you have to fucking correct them? <laughs> like, is that really such a like harmful thing that we need to add Wikipedia articles under the video? To make sure people know that the Earth is actually not flat? Like, who, who are you trying to convince? <laughs> like, I feel like that just works in their favor more, really. The Earth is flat, though. Uh, vaccines are killing millions of babies and uh aliens are real what, what what's what are some other popular conspiracies oh i like the uh the walmart one like walmarts are designed to like be prepared for when the government enacts martial law yeah, that's a pretty cool one. Because it's literally, it's called Walmart. You rearrange the letters, you get Mart Law. It's for martial law, dude. It's fucked up. Oh, yeah, the moon landing. That one's interesting. The moon landing one is, is kind of interesting. The dead internet theory? Wh which one is that? I saw one where it was like the world actually did end in 2012. And this is all just like a fucking simulation. How do you have a green? Because it's a, it's a red. See? 
It's the red whip. Global warming in 5G. <laughs> I don't... I feel like global warming is not a conspiracy at this point. I feel like that's real. Why do you have a green clover, though? Oh, you're right. Fuck. Gotta get rid of all the... the green items. I mean, and this is a blue, or a purple. The hell? Call me out on my own logic. Shut the hell up and enjoy the damn conspiracy theories. There's one about, like, cave people. Like, giants are real. I like those. Giants are real. Okay, here's, a, here's an interesting one. Fucking ghosts. Alright. One in the chat, if you believe in ghosts. Two in the chat, if you do not. Three, if you're, like, undecided, I guess. Oh, I can get, like... Okay. Well. Hmm. Okay, let's do a proper pull on this one. I don't know. This is an interesting one. I want to believe they're real so fucking bad. And I know people that, that have, like, stories about ghosts. I don't know. Okay. Let's let's see how this, this pans out here. Okay. Seems like a lot of no's here, but it's, a, it's more split than I thought it would be. It's like 60-40. Collecting data for the CIA? Well, absolutely. But you think they're not already collecting all your data? Dude, you're gonna get put on a watch list if you believe in ghosts. JFK is alive? I think, well, I think it was a suicide, to be honest, with that one. I think he's dead, but I think he was the culprit. If I'm being honest. Lee Harvey Oswald is innocent. Do we think we're in a simulation? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I've heard the theory behind that one, and it makes sense, right? The theory is that, like... We create simulations as humans, right? Like, we have the sims, or just, like... We have simulations of things that might happen, or things that could happen, like Plague Inc. is a fucking simulation. We have a bunch of simulations we're running. None of them are that accurate, but, like... The rate of technology... 500, 600 years from now, if we're still around... We could potentially create simulations that are, like, just as lifelike as this. So the chances of us not living in a simulation are pretty low. Like, assuming there's not, like, a catastrophic event that's, like, inevitable. There's a high possibility that we are living in a simulation. But I don't know. It's, it's so hard to believe. And there's, like, evidence on it at, like, a, a nano level, I think, too. How, how like... Just like the way like observed particles react. Something like that. And I'm not an expert on this by any means. Alright, so 59% said no there. Yeah, I think I might be a no, but I don't know. I know people that would not make that shit up. And like they would not lie about it. And they have very convincing stories. So I'm not sure. I also know, like, just within my family, like, my sister and my mom have had some, like, weird shit happen, and my grandma, like, one time my grandma called my mom at, like, two in the morning and was like, your brothers, your brothers, they, they've been in an accident. They've both been killed in a motorcycle accident. It was a dream I had. And then my mom was like, what the, uh, come on. <laughs> what the fuck? Can't be doing that. But then, like, the next day, they were actually in an accident, and one of my uncles got really badly hurt. And she had no way of knowing about it. So that's, like, weird. Also, I remember my sister 
like saying one time she's like i think we're gonna get in a car accident soon i don't know why but i think we are and then we did like a month later and it wasn't our fault it's just weird just weird shit she caused the accident she didn't know and the insurance can prove it got rear-ended it's not her fault it wasn't like bad but there are like multiple of them too <laughs> confirmation bias i guess but like it's not something she says that often like she's not a person that like gets premonitions about shit i don't know i feel like it's possible there's like some explanation behind that that we just don't know right like it, it it's not necessarily like supernatural i think it could be like you pick up on energy or something But who, who the fuck knows, really? I think the fact that we're alive at all is a fucking miracle. The fact that we live on this fucking earth and we're here. What a fucking miracle that is. We get to breathe air, eat food. What the hell? That's like just as crazy as like most conspiracy theories, I feel like. When you just think about it like on a fundamental level, like life itself, and how fucking bizarre that is, we even exist. This got really fucking deep for no reason. <laughs> Hope you guys are enjoying all red items and Risk of Rain too. <laughs> the ability to goon is a miracle. To feel such raw pleasure. Okay, that's enough of that. I've been getting a lot of complaints from my neighbors. Uh, about the goon talk so I'm, I'm trying to uh i'm trying to wean myself off the the gooning chatter can we watch skibbity toilet nope i'm gonna die alone oh shit i almost died from that nice You think Tupac is still alive on an island? I think that's possible. I definitely think that's possible. I think uh, uh, Yelvis is still alive too, and um, Michael Jackson. I think they're all still alive. Oh, nice. I shifted right into that. Damn, I'm kind of like behind on damage here. We like. I don't know. Neat hook would be really good here. I mean, I have another Dio. <laughs> I'm fine even if I get fucked up again. Ow. What do we got there? Oh, Chaos? Come on. Come on, dog. Help me out. Behemoth, Death Plant. Alright, I gotta pay attention a little bit. I have not been paying attention to the gameplay at all. Mm, yeah. All right. <laughs> Edge your neighbors to convert them. Convert them to the Church of Goon. If I ever start a cult, that is what I'm doing. That's on my bucket list, to be honest. Start a cult. Dude, being a cult leader would be fucking rad. Just having people devoted to you will do whatever you want and think you're fucking awesome all the time. Actually, that's kind of... It's like being a YouTuber. I mean, YouTubers are, like, kind of cults now, I feel like. Influencers. Whenever somebody says subscribe to my channel, they're basically saying join my cult. And drink the Kool-Aid with me.
I'm gonna start putting out some some pretty crazy members only content, let me tell you. <laughs> you know your family's lying to you and you should divorce them? That's the next members exclusive video coming up. Some profound shit. Skibbity toilet bolt skibbity toilet is like a mainstream religion. If you if you're going there. That's how fucking popular. I don't think it quantify whole class of quantum as a cult, you know? There's a pretty popular theory that Disputed is actually gay, of all things. I never assumed something so vulgar. What's, okay. What's vulgar about being gay, all right? Come on. Come on. Give your, give your head a shake, man. I'm going to put you in timeout for five minutes. Go to your, go to your corner. Give your head a shake. Come on. Come on, man. What would happen if you showed an Amish person the skibbity toilet? I don't know. <laughs> I think they would feel pretty good about themselves. To be honest. <laughs> be like, yeah, the shit you're doing is ungodly. And we're right all along. And you know what? I feel like the Amish probably are right. I mean, I know they do some fucked up shit. And they're like not super inclusive. I mean, they like... I, they they are in some ways, but they aren't in others, if that makes sense. Like, they'll shun you. Like, if you've ever seen the show Breaking Amish? <laughs> it's, it's trash television, but I like it. It's basically, they take a bunch of Amish people and they put them out in, like, New York for, like, a month. New York, sorry. And they come back and then all the people in the town just shun the fuck out of them. But also, I've heard stories, like, when I was in D.C., my Uber driver was telling me that his house burned down, and some Amish people just showed up and built it back up, free of charge. Like, what the hell? That's dope. I wish, I wish we had some Amish. And also, I don't know. I, 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 I get the impression that they're happier. Is that weird to say? I feel like... Amish people, on average, are probably happier than we are. Living a very simple life. I feel like technology as a whole has kind of made us miserable. To some degree. Like, modern medicine is obviously really good. But, I don't know. Like, smartphones, technology, like, computers. Has not made us happier? I don't, I don't know. I don't fucking know. I, f I feel like that's a no, honestly. But, uh, no. <laughs> Very hypocritical for me to say. Because I have benefited quite a bit from technology. My job did not exist 20 years ago. Not even really 10 years ago. Kind of did, but... I don't know, man. I think the internet is making people miserable. Like, TikTok? Do you think that's good for people's mental health? TikTok is good. I don't think so. I think that's a no. That's one thing. I don't think I will ever download TikTok in my life, even though, like, I know YouTube is pretty much just as bad with, like, shorts and shit. I don't really watch shorts, but I'm sure YouTube isn't great either. But TikTok just seems like the next level of that. I, mean, I, I watch a couple TikToks and I, I can feel my attention span shrinking. It's getting worse than it already is. It's crazy. What other games do you play? Very few. Uh, I play this and I play like mm, Hentai Sudoku when I'm on the toilet. Shorts confirmed. I really only do shorts when I'm shit posting. That is my shorts page. Okay. I saved up for this. Alright. Not bad. I guess. I think it's time for the teleporter here. I'm just kind of wandering around chatting shit. And I get lost in it sometimes. I like it. I kind of like it when that happens though. I feel like the streams are better. Even though the gameplay is maybe not. 
All right, here we go. I don't know why the boss items aren't also red. Kind of weird. I feel like you probably could do that. Also, the adaptive chests aren't. I don't know. I, I think I'll probably do this with more tiers of items. Oh, nice. I don't know if I'll do it with every. I want it. <laughs> I want it so bad. Can we make the argument for this being red somehow? I mean, it's kind of red. It's mainly yellow, though. Eh. That Speed of Origin Minecraft server? Oh, that's a good idea. I just don't know, like... I know if I did that, it would be chaotic as fuck. And I'd have to ban a bunch of people, like, immediately. Or I could just go, like, the Anarchy server route and just see what happens. But I also know that would get really toxic, too. I'd need, like, a team of moderators. But I think a, a Minecraft server is a great idea. I just need to figure it out. Looks red enough. <laughs> you know, okay. We'll, we'll do just for just for a little bit. Just for a little bit. Yeah. Dude. Oh, with the three clovers though. <laughs> it's kind of baller. You have to admit. It'll make gameplay better. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? What if I just played with like all the items? Dude, can you imagine how good my fucking gameplay is going to be if I did that? Members only? I, uh, I don't want to pay wallet, but... I don't know. I, I know Dan did, like, a thing where he, he did his on Twitch and he made it so you had to, like, pay 10,000 Raymond Daniels points. And it was, like, a... I think that, that might have been a sub-server. I don't know. It's like sub-server, but you could also get it with channel points. I'm not entirely sure how he did it, but... A Minecraft server would be cool. I have no idea, like, how many people would join that, though. It'd either would be a lot or, like, two people. Put the Risk of Rain mod on. I thought about, like, maybe doing some modded Minecraft, too. That's kind of what I enjoy more. Like, Sev Tech Ages? Oh my god. Greatest Minecraft mod pack ever. I love Sev Tech so fucking much. Wish I had a headset. Oh god. Z. Z Construct, please. Oh, nice. Resi Disc? Hell yeah. It has to be modded. I don't know. I mean, no one Minecraft feels modded to me now just because it's been so long since I played it. Last time I played was like the water update. They've added so much shit since then. I didn't even know, like, there's a thing stronger than diamond now. What the hell? I didn't even know that. And apparently it's been in the game for like five years. Thank you for the five dollars. Uh, dirt, uh, oh. Derivative, I think. <laughs> Thank you so much. The Vault Hunters mod pack? I have not. It's been a good while since I played. I think the last time I played was... Um, Dan's Minecraft server. Actually, I played it the other day. Briefly, because there is a Risk of Rain mod that I was checking out. I, I don't know. I might do a stream on it. There's not really a lot of contact, or content, contact, content. So, ooh, finally got meat hook. Hell yeah, and another clover. Beautiful. They add like golems, drones, and they add a bunch of items, but like I couldn't figure out how to get them because they weren't in the creative menu. So I kind of gave up. Have you been gooning? No, my neighbors got mad at me. They said I was gooning too much. I'm gonna keep down the goon talk. Alright, soft drink. I'm gonna take a, a little time out here. I know you're really excited about Booba. 
Mm, thank you, Race. That's a, a very easy way to get banned or timed out here. A very, very simple way. For all you speedrunners. That's not a challenge. <laughs> Please don't spam. Be respectful to everyone in chat and the moderation team. Don't be fucking assholes. I think, like, spamming in a chat is, like... Honestly, that sh should be one of the commandments. Like, how are you gonna have Thou Shalt Not Kill, but spamming and Thou Shalt Not Spam in Twitch chat isn't on there? What the fuck? Actually, the Thou Shalt Not Kill one is kind of the only good one. It's one that makes sense. Uh, res respect thy uh, neighbor and father. Do not... Do, uh... Yeah. Do not covet thy neighbor's father, I think. This isn't Twitch chat. Oh, that's true. Oh, I, I'm doing it again. Oh, shit. How embarrassing. Yeah, this is YouTube chat. The superior variant. Also, how you doing, Race? How's it going? How's the stream? I thought I saw you streaming earlier. Yo, Race, I, uh, I've been playing this. <laughs> I died. <laughs> I died on Mythrix. He's fucking awesome, dude. I've not, I've not won a single run today. <laughs> with this setup. Derivative, thank you, the $5, the $4.99. What a, what a fucking chat. Brother, what's going on with you? Dude, I'm just like... It, it's just a phase. It's fine. It's fine. I'll be ready for the race. You, you know how it is, though. Like, sometimes you, you get caught up in a conversation with chat, and then you realize, oh, fuck, I've been dead for five minutes. That's what happens when you conversate. I'm still so bad at it. Like, if I'm playing the game... Like, by myself, or, like, in the races, when I have, like, chat off. A lot easier, but when I'm having conversations with people, man, shit's hard. It's like Eclipse fucking 12, not even 9. Yo, Derivative, thank you for the $5. Forgot to add my message last time. How race you love him. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to race. I'm not gonna lie to race. That's that's worse. Thank you for the five dollars though. Nah, at least we'll get the big head. Be like, oh shit, people love me. We can't have that now. I'm ripping up my love letter right now. The preemptive love letter. <laughs> One of these days he's gonna say it, and I'm gonna give him this letter. Fuck, dude. <laughs> I hate you, derivative. Why'd you have to donate that? That's never gonna happen. I got fucking friend zoned. Um, okay. Got another clover. Nice. Alright. Let's do uh, the host skip extraordinaire here. Cringe? Oh, I can't even... I can't even get out. Oh, there we go. Nice. Are you attracted to Grandpa? You think it's a fetish? You think I, I talk about Grandpa so often because I have a fetish? Nah, man. I'm just really fucking old. It'd be fucking weird if I wasn't old and I was talking about old people, but... Like, I, I, I have the pass. I get to. My day tournament on Sunday. True, there is. It is the one-year anniversary of Risk of Resources.net. 
Don't worry, race. I'll love you. He says as he donates to me. <laughs> the person that clearly does not love him. Kind of send in mixed messages, man. Is they getting love bombing? I'm like, what the hell? How do you think that, that makes race feel? Thank you for the $5, though. Alright. Duncan. I'm gonna put you uh, in timeout just uh just 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 for a sec. If I do not see it the first time, you do not need to go to it again. Oh shit. Oh, I was, I was holding E instead of jump. What's wrong with me? Mm. Did not work. Hmm. I don't think this will work either, but they should get me the lineup. Oh, it actually kind of did. I did it right there. Alright, here we go. Let's do it. I mean, I, I guess I could... What? Got some white items in there. Oh no 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 no! Fuck, dude. Oh god damn it! <laughs> I was I was paying attention to this suit. <laughs> yeah, shut up! Shut the fuck up! Shut the hell up and enjoy the damn stream. I I'm sick of this. I'm sick of this. You you guys are the reason why I'm I am not prospering. Okay. Shut the hell up. Enjoy the, the damn Mythrix fight. Okay. Oh my god. Oh, I'm a fucking mess right now. I've got like hair matted on one side of my head. My face is red. I'm not okay. I'm not okay. Am I gonna die to Tesla again? No. Dude, only a, a friggin' fool. Uh, as George Bush once said, Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, can't fool me again. Take and now take that to heart, chat room. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, you can't fool me again. Oh, that was close. Chat was chaotic last time. Chat's always chaotic. <laughs> what do you mean last time? Because usually they're they're quite fancy and above board. Exclamation point! Take off pants. Type one if you think he'll lose one. What the fuck? Two in the chat if you think I'm freaking awesome. And you never fucking lose a red only run. Who the fuck lose, loses a red only run? Couldn't be me. Couldn't be me. Oh. Oh. He's actually giving me a good run for my money here. Taggers, nice. Oh, what the hell? Drone stole my kill. I don't get Taggers from it. That's bullshit. It's BS, dude. That's BS. Dude, how would I lose? I have two DOs. There's no situation that I lose this run. I know one gang is winning. One gang does no shit. Right, have you seen my chat room? You think they're known for their their highbrow and intellect? Chat is usually wrong, so I think the fact that they're saying one means I mean they said ghosts weren't real earlier. They said ghosts were not real. So I don't know. 
Derivative, thank you for the two dollars in the math equation. I appreciate it. I'm gonna brush up on my arithmetic. That, that one actually was pretty close. 40% of you did say they were real, so... I can't really count that one against you. That was a 60-40. <laughs> I don't believe in ghosts. I believe in entities. Entities. Entity? How do you say it? En entity. Entity. Yeah. I think ghosts are fucking stupid and cringe. Ugh. And I do think that, uh, like, ogres are 100% real. Like, the Shrek movie? That's fucking real, dude. That's fucking real. The only Shrek movie that was not real was Shrek 3. And don't ask me why I know that. The other movies were documentaries. On ogres. Shrek 3, Shrek the 3rd, uh, worst Shrek movie by far, I will say. Alright, give me something back. Oh, I got my Dio back. GG. Alright, so now it's time to just like die. Yes. Oh, dude, come on. I'm trying to die. Yes. Yes, this is what I wanted. Yes. Perfect. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come for me. Got my red whip back. Yes. All right. Now we can win. Nice. Oh, wh what the fuck? Where's the planet? Huh? Why is the planet gone? I lost my lineup. Is it this portal? Okay, it is. The way I know where the good portals are is I look for the planet in the sky, and it's just disabled. I, it may, is it a graphic setting? What the, what the hell happened to the planet? Came here to say ghosts are not real. Uh, you take that back. Ghosts are totally freaking real. Almost as real as an entity. Alright, look at this shit. Look at this shit. Race, don't you look like a fool now? What a fool. Holy shit, Gunshot. Thank you for the five gifted. What a man. Holy fuck. Dude, that's awesome. Thank you so much for the uh, the five gifted. If you got gifted a sub by Gunshot here, uh, make sure to say thank you. Alright, I'm just gonna like stand here and uh, I will survive. Like that one fucking song. Yeah, dude. Oh, water. Hope you guys are enjoying this high octane gameplay. Nice. Didn't even count. Didn't even count. One Aegis? I know. I tried to get more, but. Uh. GG's, GG's, who am I playing next? How to gift, how to become a member at the fuck YouTube? It's, uh, you click the join button, like, next to my channel. I think it's kind of hard to find on mobile, I've heard. Alright, who am I playing now?
Artificer? Artificer is not bad. Fortnite Peter Griffin next. Oh, if only. It can, somebody should make that. I've always been an advocate of the Bernie Sanders multi skin. I think that would be an amazing skin. Um, so if anybody in chat wants to make that, please. Please, by all means. All right. Uh, yeah, so I'm asking you guys, like, your opinion, but it doesn't matter if I'm just going to pick. Oh, okay, well, I'm not going to do Acrid again. We already played Acrid. We'll do Merc. We'll do Merc. I psyched you out. I tricked you into engaging with my stream. <laughs> Holy shit. You you made the ghost reel poll 50-50. What the fuck? That's a 50-50 now? Good democracy. What the fuck? Is it like exactly 50-50? Oh, you can't see. 724 votes. That's a lot of fucking votes. What the hell? I need a recount. <laughs> Stop the steal. Yeah, this is clearly a rigged... A rigged poll. No way fucking Arizona flip. No fucking way, dude. Right, that's enough of that. <laughs> oh, we got Wake of Vultures? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. It's good night. Um, why do we have a speed printer? I didn't, I didn't even think this could spawn. We could Raymond Daniel it. And grab it anyway. Oh, nice. Okay, I probably should have hit that after. Because it's occurring to me now that... I can't really do speed at the present moment. Oh, look at me. I look fucking sick and purple. I love that. Reporting full offensive to ghosts. What do you mean it's offensive to ghosts? But half of it isn't. Half of you believe. I know. Has anyone ever seen those, like, videos where it's three really real ghost stories? And they're all, like, from Reddit No Sleep. I, I love those videos. Mis Mr. Nightmare? Holy shit. Three terrifying deep web stories from Reddit. I was on the deep web, and I was like, oh, this is uber cool. And then a hacker showed up and tried to rob my mom. That's like every one of those. I shut the door, and I said, go away, Mr. Hacker Man. And he would not, and I yelled it louder. I said, Mr. Hacker Man, you must go away. And he left. And I'm writing to you now on Reddit to let you know that the Hacker Man went away, and you should never go on the deep web. Those are great. I said, be gone, Mr. Hackerman. Be gone. I shan't use the dark web any longer. What do you want from me? Must I rend my clothes asunder and wear sackcloth, Mr. Hackerman? Please leave me and my family alone. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> Wow, we got some uh, some pretty good reds right now. We need better off with white items. All right, let's focus up. <laughs> no, too far, dude. Too far. What do you mean? I think that's not far enough. But if I ever encounter a hacker. I know what strategy I'm using. The go away Mr. Hackerman strategy works every fucking time.
crash build, no Aegis. True. Yo, uh, Zarox. I think you're the uh, grandchild. Got out a milestone. I'm gonna take this opportunity to tell you you're the greatest grandpa ever, Barry Goonward. Thank you so much. That's like, I think that's the nicest thing anyone has ever said to me. Apollo Soldier, welcome to the grandchild. <laughs> I was gonna fix that. So it said, like, welcome to the grand fam or something funny. But, uh, <laughs> I think welcome to grandchild is, uh, like, optimal. <laughs> I love that. Welcome to grandchild. Good luck on rest of the stream. Homework time. Thanks for all the donations and all the support derivative. Much appreciated. Um, oh, you're doing... You, were you giving me your math homework earlier? Ah, I see. I see. Well, good luck on that. Hope you uh, pass the test. Oscar Ruff's Edge. Welcome to Grandchild. Hell yeah. All these new subs. I think that's like... A couple more e emote slots. You already have access to a bunch of emotes, but uh, you'll have access to more, and I will thank you at the end of my videos. Alright. Let's see what we got. Uh, Lex with... A sidio of sex with a video. Wait, Lex with a sidio of sex. That is the name. Thank you for the two dollars. Much appreciate. You guys are fucking nuts. I don't. <laughs> you guys okay? You guys good? Are you well? Cat, stop stealing my kidneys. Well, you, you know cats. They're tricky like that, you know? One moment they're purring and cuddling up to you, the next they're selling your kidneys on the black market. You gotta fucking watch that. Dogs would never do that shit. I'm gonna do financial... poor financial decision? Oh, don't do that, man. It's not necessary. Watching my stuff is enough. I do not feel like you need to support. I appreciate the sentiment, though. What mod makes all the items red? It's called Gear Selector. It's very fun. You can, like, switch between, like, red items, void items, boss items. All the items, really. Uh, do I want... Uh, <laughs> I guess I'm opening it. I want an IDP soon. Goddamn. Ooh, this is actually really good. I like that. Fifty-fifty on the ghost predict. I know. I feel like people rigged it, though. I feel like that was very rigged. Raydan City. Well, Raydan's video is technically the Raymond Daniels one tier challenge. This is a little bit different. This is all items are red. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I know I'm not the first one to do this. But I think, like, even before Dan did it, there was, like, a bunch of people doing it. And to be fair, Dan did not make the mod. This is not a, a Dan exclusive mod. It was just on the Thunder Story. So I don't feel bad about it. I'm going to get a very strongly word <laughs> worded email from Dan Lee. What the fuck? It's called the Raymond Daniels One Tier Challenge. How could you do this? How could you appropriate... <laughs> How could you appropriate my One Tier Challenge? Grass aqueduct hurts me inside. What do you mean? 
I mean grass aqueduct hurts you inside. I don't like the grass, dude. Some good old devil's lettuce, some grass. Some blue jeans and grass, man. You tell someone I am lying, are you really lying? Oh. That's a... Oh. Oh, shit. That's a... That's a great question. We get to the important issues here on, uh... YouTube dot... Uh, Disputed Origin. Very profound. Like Socrates 2.0. And I ain't talking about no Plato, no sir. We are philosophers. Having no speed must be painful. It's all right. That's like kind of how it is in the races anyway. I've gotten used to not having a lot of speed. I can make do. I can make do. Maybe we can get a red whip. Because it is a red item. Uh, what are your thoughts on the lack of school shootings in Utah? <laughs> uh, you could use a few more. I mean, it's like, okay. You don't want to have a school shooting, right? Like, a, a, it's a horrible tragedy. And you don't... You, you don't want to have some kid shooting up the school. But if you had to have them somewhere... Like, if they had to be anywhere, and it's horrible, no matter where it is, but it, if it had to be somewhere, I feel like it's gotta be Utah, you know? But that's just, that. those are my opinions on the matter. I don't care if it's, like, a little controversial. We have so many damn kids here. It's 40 kids to a classroom. <laughs> what the fuck? so cramped. My mom is a high school teacher. She has eight periods with like 40 kids in each class. That's like 100 students. That's so many. <laughs> it's like almost 100. No, it, it is actually... She has so fucking many. And she'll like go to conferences with like teachers from other states and they'll be like, what the fuck? 40? That's so many. They're just popping them out here in Utah. I mean, I, so, you know, you had to have them somewhere. You're from Utah. Oh, yeah. I'm a Utah born and raised. A Utah. That's what we call ourselves. In the great... It's not even a state. It's a province at this point. Oh, God. <laughs> I, I got fucked up. I should have just, like retreated there and then dashed i thought i would have had my dash from like exposed there whatever <laughs> whatever my reds were shit none of those were helping me died on a red only on dude the only red i had that was like remotely good was uh this to be sure that is the second time i've done it though <laughs> All right. Listen, man. I'm talking about school shooting. It's hard. It's hard to have an intellectual discussion and play the game at the same time, okay? <laughs> I was not focusing. It's fine. <laughs> game two, disputed one. That's true. I have <laughs> I have lost two runs today. <laughs> the fuck? What am What am I doing this year? I feel like all of my all of my on stream runs have been really shitty, or my gameplay has just been kind of trash. I mean, I feel like I did take a two week break from the game, but I don't know. I don't know if I can really 
rely on that for much longer because I have been back for a little bit now. Nice. Already a better setup. It's been centuries since I saw someone not use Desperada. Random loadout, man. But lights out to be pretty swag. I have to say. Is this your preferred loadout for Bandit? Absolutely not. I definitely prefer Desperado. If I can get my grubby little hands on it, but often I can't. Okay. We're going to win this run 100%. There's no way we don't win this. There's no reality where we do not win this run. If I don't win this run, I'm going to do something really freaking crazy. I'm going to do something really freaking crazy, and you won't like it. You won't like it. But it's okay, because I'm never, never going to lose. I will say, Light's Out, very, very fun on Sage 1. It's just you never get to utilize it after that. But, like, Stage 1, when you're chaining Wisps together, it's nice. Ah, uh, I wish I had Desperado. Behemoth? Oh, uh, should I just get like 50 billion behemoths? Is that a good idea? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I can like proc lights out with that, right? Yeah, that's good. Maybe get. If I get one resi too, that'd be nice. Yeah! Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna buy the laser scope. I'm gonna pick that up later. That's really fucking good on Bandit. Aegis. Oh. I want to keep it, but I think I will probably print that into the Behemoth. Ah, uh, well, let's look for a scrapper at least. At least find a scrapper. Okay. Got up in a second. Why so many wisps? What the hell? So satisfying, though. I wish the uh, the radius would increase a little bit more with each one, but... Well, it does, but it's just very little. It's very little amount. The damage doesn't stack, it's just radius. But I think that's still pretty fun. I have, like, ten of these. The fact the pull is 50-50 when you can't change your vote is nuts. Yeah, I mean, I think people probably rigged it to be that way. <laughs> so I don't know. We're still, like, inconclusive about it, whether ghosts are real or not. Who knows? Maybe it was a ghost that did it. Holy shit. What do we got over here? Hmm. Resi disc, justice. Hmm. Oh, email. I'll just go with the justice. I'll pick up my shit and be out of here. Oh wait, there's one more chest. Let's see where you spawned. Oh, it is 5149. Holy shit. No way. Nice. Okay. Get the laser scope. Nice. Get the Dio. Like I said, no fucking way I died this run. Not even going to use a Dio this run. That's how confident I am. How's the stream? Oh, it's going really friggin' well. Thank you for asking. Finally, so there's somebody with, with some... a little bit of respect and decency. Unlike the rest of you, you troglodytes. What the hell? What the hell? <laughs> Shut the hell up and enjoy the damn stream. Is it easier or harder than, like, a normal run? Uh, easier. 
way easier. But I'm not really paying attention that much, so I keep dying. So in a way, you could argue it's harder. It lulls you into a false sense of security. Nice. Okay, I was nice to you. <laughs> it's... Shut the hell up, then. Enjoy the damn stream. Nobody's nice to me. Oh, shit. You picked up a green, you lose. Yeah, fuck, dude. Fuck. The stealth kid's gonna carry me. I don't even care. I'm keeping it. I'm a fucking rebel. Fuck. Dude, I don't, I don't like to follow the rules. In fact, it's the stealth kid only challenge now. Get fucking clickbaited. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I require content while you're in the right place. Spread them cheeks. And, uh, get ready for me to put some content inside of you. <laughs> Became the right place. Alright, here we go. Uh I want to activate the stealth kit. If I never activate the stealth kit, it's okay. It's acceptable. Oh, I almost did. We're fine. When is the planula only run? Uh, uh, Dan should do that. That should be his next. What if every item was planula? I doubt he would do that. That's going to be like, if he does all the items, that's going to be the last one he does. What if every item is planula? How do you know which item a printer will take? If you scrap, you can determine it. Scrap prioritizes the item. Otherwise, it's just random. Okay, here we go. Got a Tesla coil. Ooh, headset printer. I only really need one. Headsets don't stack that well. Eh. Eh. Eh, I'm poor. Afterburner, afterburners. Swagalicious. All right, well, that's like, that's tempting. I know I'm gonna break him in a second though. Soulbound, unnecessary. It's not needed. I will take a Clover though. I mean, what does a Clover do for me right now? I guess higher crit chance, which isn't too bad. I definitely want to get a headset, though. Headset would be nuts. What do you mean? I'm not cheating. This is God's chosen stealth kit. It'd be sacrilegious to get rid of it. Can you understand? I don't want to burn an eternity because I got rid of a stealth kit in Risk of Rain 2. Risk of Rain Take. This wouldn't be right. Won't, won't feel too right about myself if I, if I, if I go on and did something like that. No, sir. Okay, that's the coil. I might just print one. Fuck it. YOLO. Okay, that was a good trade. Skeeter, what do you think this is? What do you think this is, Skeeter? Around these parts, we, we we don't take too kindly to scrap scrapping stealth kits. You see someone around, around these parts scra scrapping stealth kits? Ooh! We run them out of town. Down here in the south, we do things a little bit differently. 
You're not used to that. You gotta adapt, sonny. <laughs> what is this character? <laughs> oh boy, Skeeter. I tell you. I should do that when I play with Dan and just annoy the fuck out of him the entire time. <laughs> Be like, are you ready to go, man? Yeah. Uh, we're gonna have a great stream. And then as soon as we turn it on, I'm just gonna go like, how you doing, Skeeter? <laughs> That'd be a, a funny bit for like five minutes. And then after two hours, it would be funny again. It'd be annoying for like an hour and a half, and then it would go back into the realm of funny with him losing his mind. That'd be fucking great. I hope he's not watching. He's not going to want to play with me. <laughs> oh, shit. I got to get rid of this. His dad gum death mark. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, I will get rid of that. Hmm. I should put on the emote mod. The emote mod would have been great. So, are the risk of rain two survivors like people? I I never like understand. Like so, so, Bandit has like one eye. So is he actually a cyclops or is that just his helmet? Like they all have like suits on and shit. I never know what they are though. Rex is on the only real human. Damn, what a fucking twist. Ah, spare drone parts printing. That's kind of cool. I'm not going to do it, though. He's wearing that new Apple VR headset. Damn, dude. Imagine... Imagine buying that and then not using it after two weeks. Because I feel like that's usually the life cycle of a VR headset. Like, it looks really cool, and you're like, oh my god, I love this, and then it's, like, a super big hassle, and you never want to use it. There's no, there's, like, two games for it that are good. That's my experience, at least. There is a Risk of Rain 2 VR mod that I thought about trying. I don't know, I got really nauseous, though. I played Loader, and, um, I could not do five minutes. I was gonna do a thing where I, like, did 24 hours in VR, but that was way too fucking extreme. I would need to like do like a full on marathon training routine if I wanted to do that. I would fucking crumple over and die if I tried that. Are there any reds that increase speed? The red whip? Red whip increases speed? I mean afterburner kind of. Afterburner, like on Bandit, I can use my shift more often. Afterburner is great. But, I don't know. Beyond that, not really. <laughs> Clicker on an Apple headset. <laughs> yeah, you buy a $4,000 headset to play a free browser game. I'm playing Run 2 on Conjugate on my Apple headset. That game actually might be kind of cool in VR, though. Yeah, Run 2 in VR? Fuck. One in the chat if you've ever played Run. Or, or any of the Run games. Dude, I love those. I feel like those like might work in VR. That could be cool. Yeah! I feel like everyone's played that shit at some point. We love Run. And where did you even get that stealth kit? Why are you so, like, accusatory? What do you mean? Where did you even get that? Uh, yeah, don't worry about it. It's here. Uh, it's from a teleporter. Mm. 
You gotta be so harsh about it, you know? You don't have to sound like an angry mother. Joey? Joey? Put it down. Joey? Joey, where have you been? I told you to never leave the JC Penny. <laughs> Sorry, Mom. Alright, how long have I been going? Like two hours? Dude, <laughs> what the fuck? This is what usually happens two hours into a stream. I start getting loopy. I see these people, like, doing eight-hour streams, like, regularly. I don't know how they do it. I don't know how you fucking do an eight-hour stream on a regular basis. I go crazy after two hours. I start talking to myself, creating characters. Like some actual psycho shit. Like some actual Silence of the Lambs. Content. I don't know. <laughs> I know how to finish that sentence. Content's a word that uh, usually works. Wow. I'm, uh, I'm pretty strong. This is nice. It's like an eight-hour edge slash. It's so dry. <laughs> That's enough of that. My neighbors are going to get pissed off. Solitary confinement stream when? Would I be allowed to interact with chat in the solitary confinement stream? I'll be just be live in a padded... You'll see my, like, sponsor segments just in a padded room. I should do that. That'd be so fucking awesome. That'd be hard to set up, but... Oh, my God. Like, ugh. I just go from, like, my basement, like, doing, like, insane shit to, like, being in a straitjacket in a padded room. With some, like, heavy subtext. Oh, yeah. I want to do that for my next sponsored video. I'm just worried, like, if I... If I somehow find my way into a padded room, like, if I rent one out... I don't even know if you can rent them out. That, like, they'll just keep me in there. Untesla's your coil. Unbans your Runald. Unfoils your cock. Um, I guess I got some heals. Airbnb, the <laughs> yeah, looking for a padded room. Airbnb. Family of four. You know, I'll leave you good review. Uh, one out of five stars. Had shit smeared on the walls. Nice host. <laughs> Alright. Why is everything grassy today? We keep getting all the grassy maps. Uh, Neil... Degrassi Tyson. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Didn't think about that shit now, did you? Talking about, like, the universe and shit, dude. <laughs> That's my take on Neil deGrasse Tyson. Oh, shit. <laughs> what about this guy? You talking about the universe and shit. Yeah. I will not be accepting any questions about Neil deGrasse Tyson. Alright. Ugh. Thank god. Oh, I picked up another death mark. When the fuck? Oh my god. I need to undeath my mark right now. There we go. Got it ready. Alright, let's get some. Oh. I need to utilize my crit more. I realize I have a laser scope. I can just kind of poop on whoever.
<laughs> what the fuck is chat doing? <laughs> I don't even know where this bit started, but... Ungrasses your Tyson. You can't degrat, Dude, fucking... AstroTurf Tyson. <laughs> the AstroTurf Tyson. His lesser known cousin. <clears throat> That's what happens when you degrass the Tyson. You guys... <laughs> yeah, you're on some shit right now. Like, I think I, I'm acting unhinged and crazy, and then I look over at chat and I'm like, Oh. I'm among friends. Everyone here is a little bit off. Nice. Ate the liver supply as a snack. That's healthy for a boy of your age. G good on ya. Unfungles your parasite. What am I even looking at? <laughs> what? I feel like it would take decades with the best minds in the world to decrypt that fucking cipher of a chat message. It's like the Rosetta Stone 2.0 right there. Slippy, thank you for $5. I'd love if you made a video ranking all the equipment items or which enemies you can beat in a fight. Oh, true. Uh, I'd probably lose to all the enemies, though. I, but I would make a video on, like, which enemies my dad could beat up in a CVS parking lot. I think that'd be a great video. But the, the equipment one is definitely something I plan on doing in the very near future. But thank you for the five dollars. Much appreciated. All right. Um, I'm just gonna get the hell out of here. What What's here for me? Other than pain and sadness. Unroses your buckler. Unruckers your fudrucker. What do you think of that shit? <laughs> I don't even know what is happening. Oh shit, I had a buckler. That's why you were saying it. Uh, before I die. Oh shit, I couldn't even do it. Okay, wait. Um, Rose, minus one. Alright, there we go. There we go. Yeah, Rose Buckler is a little ungodly. At least, Stealth Kit has, has a little bit of class here, alright? I want an IDP here. I don't really have healing outside of... Mm. Outside of my Ouija racks. Oh, you want to see some cool shit here? Check this out. I don't think you guys are ready for what I'm about to pull off here. This is the most insano, like, sicko mode shit you've ever seen. Wait, never mind. Yeah, and then... Shazza. A little bit underwhelming. <laughs> I was trying to show off the geyser tech, but... It helps if you have a little bit of movement speed, which I have none. Nice. Always deal with some more clovers here. Back in justice. Not really doing a whole lot, but that's okay. <sighs> Yo. 
resonance disc kind of carrying honestly like for burst damage kind of going off Ugh. stop with the rejuvrax please wait oh, i should have checked out the bazaar to see it if it has reds in there could i just buy five reds from the lunar shop Later, Nexus Legend. Thanks for hanging out, man. Always good to see you. Much appreciate. Unweeps your fungus. Well, I, you know, you gotta be careful about something like that. Make sure all parties consent. If you, if you're, if you're gonna go, if you, if you're gonna be doing something like that, you know, you don't just wanna unweep somebody's fungus without asking. A bit rude. And could get you some serious jail time. The speed is unbearable. What do you mean the speed is unbearable? What, you think I should cheat in some goat hooves like some people we know? No, I respect the, uh, the sanctity of a red-only challenge. I would never cheat. I would never do anything untoward or unbecoming of a mature gentleman my age. I don't have... Oh, I do. I have headset. That's a place good. Um, okay. I want some more laser scopes. If I found a laser scope printer, that would actually be pretty crazy. I was kind of hoping we would find one this run. Because it is bandit. I guess I could have looked more on stage 4 if I really wanted it, but... Man. Man. Ugh. Lagoon Cave? Yeah. Lagoon Cave is no more. I'm sorry. The neighbors complain. Virgin Man Cave versus Chad Goon Cave. I like. <laughs> Can you imagine like a like a real estate agent like going into a house and be like, and in here we have a, a nice open closet, nice walk-in closet, and uh, over here we have a nice one bedroom this would be perfect for a uh, a goon cave and uh you could get a, a a pretty good goon sesh in here now let's check out this kitchen now this kitchen is is actually a kitchen and a half it's a half kitchen half kitchenette combo i love that i should make that i should make that video Really, you, you could goon in, in the kitchenette if you wanted to. Base cam stream one. Mm. I don't know. I've thought about it. I think I over time I do want to do more base cam stuff. Um, I don't know. I want it to be kind of a natural transition though. Like I don't want it to just all of a sudden be face cam stuff. I'm kind of I'm kind of working my, my way up to it. It's also like. I don't know. I don't have a lot of camera presence, I think. I'm really not good at recording myself. Like, in all my sponsor segments, I have to do a million takes. So, I don't know. I, I think I might start doing those on Twitch. Because I've thought about, like, doing Twitch streams that are just kind of different. To just kind of practice and get used to it. But I definitely want to do it at some point. Streaming is just hard, though. Thick mod with eye tracker? That's actually a banger video. <laughs> that is amazing. That's a great concept. 
I've thought about doing an eye tracker before, but putting on the thick mod with it. <laughs> Dude, I'm writing that shit down. Oh my god. Yes, we, we are absolutely doing that. Oh, holy fuck. That is going in my ideas document. Eye tracker with dummy thick. Perfect. Oh my god. Yeah. That's amazing. Maybe you guys your fucking content. Your content for the year. That's like, maybe, maybe that's what I do on April Fools, honestly. Although, I don't know. <laughs> my, uh, my April Fools videos tend to, like, get sexual uh, at least they have been for the last two years <laughs> i don't know if i want to keep doing that two's a coincidence three's a pattern well two's a kind of a pattern in this case to be honest <laughs> when it comes to weird fucking april fool's risk of rain videos i don't know that you can really call that a coincidence Embrace it. <laughs> I don't know if I want it. I don't know if I want that to be my image. Make it a sponsored video. <laughs> I've thought about doing like a. Wait, well, I talked about it earlier, but like doing a risk of rain top 10, where I, I rank like the top 10 like most breedable items. Risk of rain 2, otherwise known as Hot Chick Heaven. That's really, I, I really just want to do a video where I say that line. That could be it. But don't post on April Fool's. I have to, though. April Fool's is the one day of the year and I can get away with whatever the fuck. And people will be like, oh yeah, okay, I accept it. You can't get away with that on any other day. That's why I love April Fool's. It's my favorite day of the year. Um, I did one in 2021. That was my Wooly Gaming diss track. Uh, it's the only video I've ever done that got demonetized. I've never had a problem with demonetization before or after that video. Okay. Let's get this done. I guess, like, three Rejuvarax is enough healing, but, eh. Eh. How the fuck is that the only video you've ever had demonetized? I know! <laughs> I think YouTube just picks favorites. I think they like me. Or my channel isn't big enough where people pay attention. Like, I don't know. Like, the Pregnancy and Risk of Rain 2 uh, video I did when I had, like, 15,000. I don't know if I could get away with that today and still be monetized. But, like, when you're a smaller channel, you have a lot of just, like, automated reviews. So it's not, like, an actual person looking at your video determining if it's monetized. But I've noticed recently a lot of my videos are getting, like, manually reviewed. Which is freaking me out a little bit. But I might still be able to get away with it. I don't know. Bring back Farmer John. Oh, my God. That's a throwback. Farmer John and his pig piss collection. If you go to pigpiss.com, it does still take you to my Twitch. I'm paying 17 bucks a year for that shit. We want to see Pig Piss come back in a big way. Yeah, just a real love letter to the community. To the Farmer John community. Ugh. Every time I read a word, my enemy's or bandit's hat grows by 1%. That'd be a great mod or a great video. That's like year 20 of content. I'd start doing that shit. <laughs> Just like most obscure shit. Every time I say a verb, enemy's health increases by 1%. Every time I say an adverb, it resets.
We have Aegis. Do I? I do have Aegis. <gasps> lucky me. Oh, lucky me. Wow. -y. Okay. Um. I don't. I'm kind of scared to do this. Yeah. Okay. That didn't work. I'll have to go from this angle. A bunch of shit over there. I don't really want to fight. I'm late. What did I miss? Not much, really. A lot of bullshit. <laughs> I would say. You think that's a fair assessment? Just a lot of bullshit. I feel like that's a pretty fair assessment. This is two hours of your life that you're never getting back. So I hope it was worth it. All right. Nice. Unmisses your stream. Oh shit. That's the real tech. Tech discovery. Not watching Disputed Origin. <laughs> that's, that's like the most powerful one. Uh, apparently, I'm, I'm also like very problematic. According to... There's like some people... <laughs> in certain discords that think I am, like, the worst thing that has ever happened to this game. Like, I'm extremely... My opinions are extremely problematic. They hate me there. Which is honestly, like... I don't know. I'm kind of happy they do. I feel like it's kind of a rite of passage. Getting hated by the weirdos in the Risk of Rain Discord. Because they fucking, they hate Wooly. They've hated Wooly for years. And now they don't like me. Opinions on what? My opinions on items in Risk of Rain 2. That's the stuff they don't like. <laughs> they, they, they're, they're cool with me, like, uh, talking about school shootings and everything. But, uh, I said Flamethrower was bad. They're like, dude, this fucking cancel this guy right now. Fucking deplatform him. He should not exist. What did Wooly do? He... nothing. He just exists. And they disagree with him. And I, I will be the first to admit, though, like, a lot of my opinions are very shitty. I want to do a video where I go over like some of my tier lists from last year because tier lists don't work just as a conceptually they don't they don't work for a spray too items are three-dimensional like you can't talk about them in a linear fashion like it's always going to be kind of bad i feel like I, I i should maybe just make a video like saying that too because I, I think people take them really seriously but like you should never be looking at the game like a tier list I think most people get that, but I think there are some people that don't. You know, oh, I'm dead. Yeah, I kind of deserved that. I s jumped right into his hammer there. Man, I was not going to use a Dio this run, but it's kind of brutal without speed, if I'm being honest. Like, I don't have speed, and I don't have, like, defensive items. Like, I don't have opals or safer spaces here. A little bit difficult. I wish I had Desperado. Desperado would make this so much easier. Hmm. He's harassed my drone. Nice. My build is like really uneven here. I'm kind of a glass cannon. Like I don't have any defensive items either. Like I don't have bucklers. Ugh. I don't have wraps. 
be trying to get behind him, but it's so hard without speed. It's more difficult than I thought it would be. It's honestly not too bad, but... Let's see if I can get through phase three without having another blunder like that. So lucky still gets saved, do you? Shut up, man. You don't know stealth get like I do. Stealth get is friggin' awesome, bro. Alright, here we go. You die. I love when you go and smoke bomb and they still shoot at you. <laughs> That's the best. That's the dream. No scorp this run. I used up all my scorps in the other runs. It's okay, I have just this. I'll make my way over here. Oh, I can. I want to, like, shoot him so I can get some justice value here. Eh, nah, whatever. Should maybe try to get some hemorrhage in. It's just so hard without speed. My damage is poopy. Try to get in there with Tesla. There we go. Get a disc in there. Oh, nice. That's some dam. That's some damage. Alright, I actually have to focus up here. I can't just like AFK like I did before. Oh. Speedless pizza. Kinda rough. I don't know if it's worth it, like, just shooting him or trying to get some, like, headsets in. Or trying to, like, hemorrhage. Come on. Desperado would have helped out a lot here, too. Alright, let's try to... Nice, I got a crit on that. It's so, like, hard to know when you're gonna get a crit sometimes with Bandit. Like, with a, with a headset stomp. It's very uncouth. Ow. Okay. You need to go. Ouch. <laughs> got fucked up. Okay, and I do have Tesla, so I'm gonna hang back here for a bit. Whew. Not my stealth kit. Bro, what the hell? Thank you. Hmm, the alien head. Oh, stop. Get away from me. Alright, I need to, like, find an opportunity to... Stop it, please. Dude, these alien heads are so obnoxious. Oh, thank god. Yes, keep doing that, please. Oh, thank you. Alright, there we go. Got my stealth kit bag, GG. 
Okay. <laughs> We're good. I was kind of worried for a second there. Ugh. Man, all these reds, but still no damage, really. Having a scorpion, I think, really helped me with my other runs. Scorpion is the bomb. Especially when you have, like, five stacks of it. Oh, my God. Like, the difference in damage here was so notable. I don't know which one I'm supposed to take. Ugh. Is this bait? I think this is bait. Oh, it's fine, I guess. Am I even going to be able to make it there in time? Boiling? Absolutely not. The most you're getting is once a week, but even that's pushing it. Lights out is more fun. Lights out is more fun stage one, but you very quickly lose the ability to chain it, I would say. I might not even make it to the ship in time. I probably will. I'm not too far. If I got like the absolute worst portal, maybe not. And if I was like Artie, that wouldn't have been good, but at least I get a little speed boost for my shift here. Pretty damn good. Ugh, get me over there, please. All right, nice. Nice one. This, it, yeah, it is basically just benthic bloom without all the bureaucracy. Very true. I just like the end result of benthic bloom. If you like loop a bit. You have such an edgeable voice. Thank, thank you for noticing. Yeah, when I was a kid, all my friends' parents would say that about me too. I've heard it all my life. And Kimmy, your friend Grandpa has a very edgeable voice. You guys said I couldn't do it. You thought I couldn't win the Reds only run, the hardest challenge in this green team. But here I am. Look at me. Look at me go. Future Oprah singer? I'm going to be an Oprah singer. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm a simp for mewing to looks max or is edging goaded. <laughs> what? Is that, is that where you like like your your tongue on the roof of your mouth to like form your jaw. Yeah, you gotta do that, or no one's ever gonna want to sleep with you. And that's just the the honest to god truth, you know. If you're not sticking your tongue on the roof of your mouth, uh, twenty four seven, dude, no one's ever gonna sleep with you. Opera, not Oprah. I'm pretty sure it's Oprah. I'm pretty sure we're talking about Oprah here, but uh. Yeah, I think that's going to be all for tonight. We will do some other tiers here, obviously. Um, oh, shit, the results are in. Our ghost's real. Yes, 52 to 48 with 1,372 votes. What? What? That's a lot of votes. Holy shit. But that's going to be it for me today. Um, we're going to be back tomorrow. Another stream. I don't know what I'm doing yet. Maybe more of this. Maybe more like every item in the game type shit. Uh, good to be back. Yeah, uh, exclamation point Discord if you want to join. We do updates, and whenever like I do a stream or I put a video out, that uh, that will come up. Mm, is that it? I think that's it. Yeah, I, I, I always forget stuff at the end of these. But thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.